Welcome to Cheppy TV. Well, hello. Here we are on the BCC Oval. We're going to have a tug of war competition. We've got two teams here. We've got Team Gary. Give them a cheer. Yeah. We've got Team Destroyers. Yes. So they're going to have a tug of war. We're just going to have a little warm up first, a little strategy meeting. They're going to plan how they're going to win this. And then we're going to get right into it. Okay, warming up, guys. We're going to do some jogging on the spot. <laughs> do some stretching. I'm going to warm you, like this. You got to warm your arms up a little bit. You got to do some push-ups. Oh, push-ups. Oh, yeah. no, no. Push-ups. Here we go. Oh. This is the easy way. Just come in. Push-ups. All right. Everyone up. Good job. Now. Yeah, I'm probably warmed up for the year. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Ready, Team Gary? Yeah. Yeah. Ready, Team Destroyers? Yeah. All right, let's go over to the rope. <laughs> Remember? You go that way. You two go that way. <laughs> I need to be third. All right, here we go. Can we do a plan to win this? Wait, can we? A what? A plan. A plan. Oh. They've just got to have a little bit of a plan. Quickly, 10 second plan, have a little chat. This is very serious business, trying to get the plan right. All right. Are we ready? Yes. Here we go. We're ready to yeet. Got your plan ready? Yes. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna, gotta take the strain. You got it? Yeah. On your mark, get set, go. Oh, oh, this is a tough one. It's a tough one. Oh. Team Gary's oh. a losing oh. ground. The Destroyers, are they're a tough team oh. to beat. They're making up time. They're oh. making ground. Oh. oh. Come on. Oh. Team Gary's losing ground. Destroyers are holding firm. Oh. 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 Keep going, oh. Destroyers. Don't give up. They're not over yet. You've got to pull their feet over. Pull hard. Remember those strong muscles. Oh, come on, Team Gary. Hold firm. This is exciting. You nearly got them destroyers. A big pull. Really big pull. Oh, there's... There you go. We're slipping. Oh! <laughs> I think we've got a winner. We've got a winner. Okay. A big cheer. A big cheer for Team Destroyers. Team Destroyers, do you want to just give your teammates a bit of a high five? Say thanks. Thanks for the competition. There you have it. It's tough competition here at BCC. Team Destroyers are the winners. Team Destroyers, do you want to come and show us your muscles? Show us your, show us your BCC Team Destroyer muscles. Good job. Awesome. Thanks everyone. Congratulations. All right. Well, hello. How good was that tug of war? Our junior school team, the Destroyers, did such a great job. Well done. Congratulations. They beat those big kids from high school and they did such an awesome job with their big strong muscles. Do you know today we're talking about meekness or gentleness, which is another fruit of the spirit. And in the Bible, it says, blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. And do you know, meekness or gentleness, it, it means, you know, when you ride a horse and you put a bridle and a bit in the horse's mouth so that you can control the horse and show the horse where to go, or when they tame a wild animal like a lion and it does what you want it to do. Meekness is about having control. A control over your attitudes, what you think about things and how you react to things. It's about having strength but using it in the right way. So in that tug of war they had to use their muscles, they had to use their physical strength. That's not the kind of strength I'm talking about. I'm talking about strength in how you act and in the words that you use when someone's mean to you or nasty that you don't act with anger you act with kindness and gentleness and you're calm and you sort it out in a wise way 
That's the kind of strength I'm talking about. It means that you can choose to be kind and humble and patient and forgiving and gentle instead of trying to be nasty, instead of trying to pay back people. You know when someone is mean to you and you want to pay them back and you want to keep angry at them and you don't want to forgive and you want to get revenge on them sometimes. Being meek's choosing not to do that. It's choosing to act the right way, to control those attitudes and those feelings, to act the right way at the right time. It's about knowing how to use your strength for good and not for evil. Sometimes when people hear the word meek, they think that it's a weak thing, that it's about not being strong. But being meek is being really strong because when you're really weak, you don't have the strength to do something. But when you're being um, meek, you have the strength, you just choose not to use it. You choose to be calm and kind and patient and humble instead of being nasty or mean or unkind or angry. And we talked about last week how the Bible says to be quick to listen and slow to speak and slow to get angry. And so we need to choose to do that. That's showing meekness. And that takes strength. Meekness can be when you're in a really difficult situation and you choose not to fight back or be angry. It can mean that you think about what you do before you do it. You think about your words and your actions and you're careful. It's acting in the right way at the right time. It means that you don't have to always be right. That you don't have to always have the last say just because you can. And you don't always have to have your own way just because you can. Do you know, I know sometimes at home that you probably have conversations with your parents where they say to go and do something and you say, I don't want to. And you keep arguing just so you can be right or just so you can say the last thing in an argument. You might do that with your brothers and sisters. That's not showing meekness. Meekness is knowing when to say, okay, I could argue back, but I'm gonna choose not to. I'm gonna choose to be calm. I'm gonna choose to be kind. I'm gonna choose to think about other people. Do you know, Jesus died on the cross for us, and when he did that, they were mean to him. They they mocked him, they called him names and they beat him and they said, you're not really the son of God. Who are you anyway? If you're really the son of God, why don't you hop down off the cross and save yourself? And you know, Jesus had the power to do that. He could have saved himself, but he chose not to. He chose to be meek. He chose to keep that power because he knew that he had to die on the cross. That's what God had asked him to do so that we could be saved. He knew it was about other people and he knew that there was a bigger picture and so he chose to not use that power and to do what God had asked him to do. What a great example. Do you know when Jesus was arrested, um, someone in the garden cut off a guard's ear and Jesus healed that. He did have power. He had lots of power, but again, he could have chosen to use that to not get arrested, but he didn't. He chose to say to God, okay, God, what do you want me to do? And to obey God and to be meek, to not use the power that he had because he knew that God wanted him to do something else so that we could be saved. So being meek is about sometimes choosing not to do something just because we can do it doesn't mean we should do it. And so let's practice meekness this week and think about what we're doing. Think about whether it's going to help the situation or just make it worse. And sometimes if it's just going to make it worse and not be helpful, we should just choose not to use that power and to be meek. So remember that. Remember to be meek this week. Remember to control that power that you have. Not your physical muscles, but the other feelings and attitudes and actions that we have that we can choose to use them for good and not for evil so let me pray for you dear god thank you thank you that jesus showed us how to be meek he had lots of power and he chose to be humble and he chose to obey god 
and he chose to not use that power at the time because he knew that he was going to die on the cross for us to save us. Please help us to remember to be meek and to be thoughtful about situations and to not always do things just because we can. Help us to be kind and patient and humble and thoughtful about others. Thank you for this week and pray for your blessing over this day. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you. See you next week. Bye.